Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at what cracking is. Nice and simply then, cracking is where we take a long-chained alkane, a long-chained hydrocarbon, and we break it down into smaller ones. So for example, here I've got a long-chained hydrocarbon. It's got 10 carbons and 22 hydrogens. Therefore, it makes it a hydrocarbon because there's only hydrogen and carbon there. And if I take it and apply heat and pressure and use a catalyst, I can break it down into a shorter chained alkane. So for example, here, I have octane, which has got eight carbons and 18 hydrogens. It also breaks it down into a shorter chained alkene. So here I've got an alkene because it's got a double bond in. It's C2H4 and that is ethene. Just remember the fact that it's got a double bond makes it unsaturated. Now the reason that we do this is shorter chained alkanes and alkenes are more useful than the longer chained ones. And I'll be coming on to that in another video. Now the final thing for this video is you might be given uh, the start of a symbol equation and told to finish it off. So for example, I've got C12H26 here and I'm told that it's going to break down into C10H22 and something else. Nice and simply, this is basic math. If you're ever given anything like this, just take away the difference, that's what you've got left. So I have 12 carbons on the left and 26 hydrogens on the left. And then on the right, I've got 10 carbons and 22 hydrogens. The difference between 10 and 12 is 2, so I have 2 carbons. And the difference between 22 and 26 is 4, so I have 4 hydrogens, which is C2H4. And that really is all you need to do if you get something like that. Okay, I have a few questions for you. This question says decane C10H22 is a long-chained hydrocarbon that produces ethene C2H4 when cracked. Number one, describe what cracking is for two marks, so breaking down of what into what. Number two, write the balanced equation for the cracking of decane. Number three, describe a use for ethene. And number four, what are the conditions for cracking? So pause the video, have a go at the questions, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's go through. So question one, describe what cracking is. Nice and simply, the breaking down of a long-chained molecule or large-chained hydrocarbon or large chain alkane, anything like that, into a shorter chain or a smaller chain alkane and alkene or molecule or hydrocarbons. So the key thing is large molecule into smaller molecule, that's going to get you two marks. Question two, so we're starting off with C10H22, so I can put that in, and I know it's going to produce ethene, which is C2H4. Now you're going to get one mark for putting in that. Then the second mark is for showing the difference. So I've got 10 carbons on the left, two on the right. What's missing? Eight. I've got C8. I've got 22 hydrogens on the left, four on the right. So 22 minus four is 18. So I have H18. So your second mark is for C2H4 plus C8H18. Give me a use for ethene. Question three. Polymers. Nice and simple. One mark there. And then the final question. What are the conditions for catalytic cracking? Heat, pressure, and a catalyst. Nice and simple, three marks. That's everything you need to know for this video. There is a review question, which is very similar. You've got icosane C20H42. It's also a long-chain hydrocarbon, also produces ethene. By giving the definition of cracking, describe how icosane is cracked in a lab, including the products formed and the conditions necessary. Four marks should be nice and easy for you. That brings this video to an end. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.